Hello everybody, in this video we're going to have a look at creating a really cool cartoony kind of image from a photograph using Inkscape. Inkscape is free, uh, you can download it at home, just Google Inkscape and you'll be able to find it and download it. So first of all we need an image. We're going to be doing an icon for our zoo project, so I've got, just searched up on Google Images, this rather charming picture of a duck. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste that into Inkscape and what we'll see is it appears on our page just like that. Now one of the things that we can do to help us when we're working with images is we can use layers. So I come up to the layer menu up here and I select layers and we'll get a layer box at the side and what I can do here is I can lock this layer in place to stop any changes happening to it and I can just make it a little bit more see-through as well which will help us because it means that we can see what we're drawing on top of. So now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it tracing because I'm going to trace over my image. There we are, there's my new layer. You've also got this eye here, which means you can turn on and off layers individually so we can see how we're doing. So I'm going to use the pencil tool here to trace. Now usually when you're drawing something in with a mouse, you kind of draw a wibbly wobbly line, it doesn't look very nice. You'll see in Inkscape, when I let it go, what happens is it smooths the, the line out for me. So all of the little shakes I get just disappear. And we can edit that line afterwards. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the rather nice shape of his bill. So I'm going to draw a line down here, up the side, and this is really important, I finish where I started. And you can see it's made a kind of guess at the kind of shape I'm going to make. I can alter that shape now by selecting this tool here and I can move the points about and I can stretch these points here which let me alter the shape of the line. Now this bit here is going to be hidden by the green of his head, so I'm quite happy with that. That's absolutely fine by me. And I'm just going to make sure that follows the line of his bill exactly. Now, because I've created this as a shape, what I can do is I can set a fill color because I joined back up with the line where I started. And I can also set the stroke so the stroke here is in black and I can also set the uh, width of that stroke and uh, if I double click on that and go to stroke style I can set the width here so I can make the line around the outside a bit thicker three and a half there we are now I might want to paint a little bit more on this layer but look, I can't see through, so if I lower the opacity here as well, I can see the drawing, I can see what's behind. Now, I'm going to get my pencil again, and I'm just going to draw, I'll zoom in for this because I want it exact. So, to zoom in, what I do is I make sure I'm clicked on the drawing and I hit the plus key. Just like that and then I'm going to select the pencil tool and there we are there's my little duck nostril and I can again stretch out that shape and I can also set a nice dark fill color on that so I zoom out with minus and then I can go for creating my main duck. So because we've got some detail here that's quite sharp, I'm going to use my pencil tool again and I'm actually going to take the smoothing down a little bit. And I'm going to try and draw the shape of this duck's head. So we go up over the top.
and most important end up where I started that's not too bad actually if I zoom in we can see we've got a few problems but of course we can always edit it again just like this so there we are make sure we've got the right angles here that's it and then this one here actually I want to come quite a bit further down there and then there we are and what I'm going to do with this uh, duck is I'm actually going to set the fill to a nice green color just like that and the stroke again I'm going to set that to 3.5 there we are so now when I zoom out you can see although I've got a bit of work to do up here I've got the beginnings of my duck Ooh, and I've just set the stroke color to be the wrong color so uh, yep yeah, that's fine so I've got the beginnings of my duck and I can just start to edit him like that now if I come back to my layer dialog and I make this uh, have full uh, visibility you can see it's now starting to look like the cartoony kind of effect that we want and I can start to move this and move this and as you can see we can carry on building up these objects and it will start to make us quite a nice looking image which we can then use for our logo there we are the start of our duck so take the opacity down and I just have to fill in the neckline and the eye and all of a sudden I'm starting to get a nice animal I hope that helps you get started with Inkscape what I'd suggest is give it a go download your own image and see whether we can start to make our own animal logos thanks for watching